For breakfast, you had four or five, at least the few spoons of that malaga podi. From that one meal alone, you will get well over 130 milligrams of calcium because urad dal contains calcium. The black sesame seeds has huge amounts of calcium. So when you eat that meal, you're not getting calcium from just one source like milk. You're getting it from all the variety of foods you're eating. Say for lunch, you're eating something as simple as sambar rice with ladies' fingers as side dish. From that one meal, you'll get almost 200 milligrams of calcium. Say you ate the same thing for dinner as well. Ladies' fingers is high in calcium, not mention we Indians in our cooking use a huge amounts of spices we use curry leaves we use coriander leaves we use mint leaves we use coriander seeds we use jeera all these spices despite being so small and taking up only a fraction of the food on our plate actually have so much nutrition in them for evening instead of tea or coffee you could consume porridge that is made from some kind of millet if you ate a small serving of something made from ragi millet you will get well over 150 milligrams of calcium if you were to add that up you would have well exceeded your daily recommended intake for calcium